we're going to start with the horse and uh, horses really in the sense have uh, divided into two the actual looking after the horse itself and also uh, the making of the harness and uh, all its uh, leather components so here we have a, a farrier's hammer uh, probably four or five different hammers were used by saddlers if they wished to this is actually a shoeing hammer for driving in the nails to put the horseshoe on the horse but before that could actually be done uh, these farrier's knives were in use uh, this small one is called a farrier's searcher because it's very tiny, you can get into awkward places. The hoof has to be paired to uh, prepare it uh, for the uh, shoe to sit comfortably. And these were some of the knives that they were using to clean up the hoof uh, in the preparation for putting on the shoe. So uh, this is the preparation of the hoof part uh, and it was nailed on with the hammer. Uh, either before or after uh, a farrier's rasp would come into use uh, initially to again take off excess material from the, from the hoof or to clean it up afterwards after the shoe had been nailed on uh, these wood as well as as removing hoof would also double up in uh, removing on this file side removing the iron of the shoe to make it come flush uh, with the uh, hoof of the horse so this is a double sided one with file cut on one side and rasp cut on the other this is a double ended rasp we call it uh, this one is a single ended rasp and it is it is just a rasp and, and, and with no file of course that's taking care of the bottom end of the horse as one might say but at the uh, dangerous end or one of the dangerous ends uh, is uh, the, this implement here which is another form of rasp and is known as a horse tooth rasp and this is actually used for uh, taking off what happens with horses I'm not sure about other animals but with horses is that their teeth wear in use and initially their back teeth wear more than their front teeth in the grinding of uh, corn or whatever now if they wear to such an extent there becomes a gap between those teeth uh, the uh, food that they're ingesting uh, is too big and it causes them stomach problems and in order to uh, get over the problem the front teeth have to be filed down so the back teeth start to come to touch one another again and this is the instrument that does it uh, I don't think I would particularly want to uh, be in, in reach of a, a horse that's got problems with its teeth but uh, that's what vets used to do. So that's the head end of the, the horse. I'm not quite sure where this particular tool comes in but it is known as a searing iron and this was got red hot in a fire and it was used to cauterize I'm not sure whether it's cauterized in other parts of a horse that are rather unmentionable after they've been cut off. But it's likely stallions, for example. That's the thing, stallions who have uh, dangly bits. And the dangly bits are cut off. Uh, and then I think to stop them bleeding, they are cauterized with this. Now, horses can kick quite hard. And I would imagine that it's a rather dangerous job. However, that's known as a searing iron. We now move on to the harness part of the horse and here we have two small representations of two enormous industries and uh, these are saddler's needles uh, for use in making harness, stitching, uh, buckles, all sorts of things. These are harness awls, this, this particular panel. This one says buckling awls for making sewing but the buckles on and saddler's stitching goals so each one has separate needs and each one comes in a variety of sizes in each particular pattern so and this is just only one small uh, uh, section of 
uh, needles, there were many, many others as well. An enormous industry. Mostly people think it's done in Redditch in Worcestershire, and they certainly were, and certainly household needles, but these and many others were actually produced in Sheffield. Uh, we have two representations here of saddler's knives for cutting the actual leather uh, before it's stitched. <coughs> and uh, again, <coughs> these represent an enormous industry of spe highly specialised uh, manufacturers in Sheffield uh, producing just for the leather trades. That concludes the horsey bit.